In this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to create the look of beautiful inlaid wood using a Modelo Designs vinyl stencil and water-based wood gel stains. Watch how we use an ornamental architectural grill design to transform the top of a thrift store coffee table. Mix equal parts of rich brown stain and seal with So Slow Super Extender to create more translucency and increase your working time. Use a large chip brush to apply the stain mix to the previously sanded wood tabletop. We removed the finish from this tabletop completely using a palm sander to expose the raw wood. Follow the grain of the wood and work in small sections for more control. Remove and smooth the excess stain with cheesecloth as you go. Leave a leading wet edge of stain to avoid lap lines and continue until the tabletop is covered with an even coat of stain. We are using an architectural pattern that is produced with a reverse or negative weed. That means that the design area becomes the mask and the negative spaces between are exposed. Burnish the Modelo stencil on the front and back on a hard flat surface using the squeegee that comes with your stencil order. Center the design on your project area and secure it in place with a couple of pieces of painter's tape. Then, run a large long piece of tape through the center of the pattern and secure it well at both ends. Flip one side of the Modelo stencil back on itself and carefully peel back the backing paper to expose the adhesive side of the stencil. Cut the excess backing paper away with scissors. Then, roll the exposed stencil area down onto the surface slowly as you smooth it in place with your hand. Remove the anchoring tape and repeat the process on the other side. Use a squeegee to burnish the Modelo stencil in place securely. Remove the transfer tape by peeling it back carefully from one end. Burnish the Modelo again to ensure a tight seal on the surface. Mix three parts of Van Dyke Brown Stain and Seal with one part So Slow Super Extender. Use a chip brush to apply the stain mix over the whole surface using the same basic technique that you use for the base coat. Apply the stain in small areas following the grain of the wood and remove the excess with cheesecloth as you go. Allow the first coat of stain to dry for about 15 minutes. Then add more So Slow to the mix to create a more translucent stain and apply a second coat. Allow the second layer of stain to dry and remove the Modelo stencil carefully with the weeding tool. Take care not to dig the sharp tool into the surface. Just use it to lift the edge of the vinyl stencil. Once the Modelo is removed, add a rich toning layer overall with another coat of the rich brown stain and seal mix. Allow that to dry completely and finish off your surface to protect it with two coats of wax or water-based polyurethane. You can use the same basic stencil and stain technique to create faux inlaid wood on all types of unfinished wood surfaces. Tabletops, cabinet doors, wooden stair risers, beams, moldings, baseboards. The possibilities are endless with Modelo vinyl stencils.